<laughs> Just to suffer. Every night. I can feel my leg. And my arm. Even my fingers. The body thought. I've lost. <laughs> the comrades I've lost. Won't stop hurting. Puppets, oh puppets, where are you? Where are you? Uh, why are you staring at these DVDs? Well, you know, getting myself mentally prepared for what I'm about to watch. What? What are you about to watch? You realize this is not. Sh <laughs> we, we don't say their names in here. No, 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 we, we, we don't, we don't mention their names. Puppets, you know they're not in the movie. Yeah, but, 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 you know, you know like, like they always say, life finds a way. <laughs> And they always find a way to be every single one of them. Those, those little demons. The minions. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, God. I'm so sorry, Jesus. Please, please forgive my sins. I have sinned the words of uh, of Satan. I, I'm so... Get, get over yourself, man. They are just the minions. Okay? Just nice, you know, pop culture tools that Universal uses. But they're just so annoying. The minions movie. It ruins me. I used to love the Minions. But but after that Minions movie, no, they they, they were ruined. Ruined. Get, so get yourself together, man. Listen, listen, listen. You are going to watch that movie. I don't, I don't want to see another Illumination film. I don't want to go through that. Listen, listen. This is your first chance to see a movie early, and you can review it early before anyone else. So you better get your butt into that theater. And you, even if there is one or two minions, please don't say their names, you are going to go there and watch the film. Understand? Uh, F you. Oh, fine. Fine, 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 fine. I'll go see another Illumination film. Another one. <laughs> when will they stop? Oh, such a baby. Anyways, I think it's time to get things started. With your one, the only, Puppet as your host for the night for Puppet Review Stuff. Oh! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Puppet Review Stuff. Now, if this is your very first time checking out my channel, if you didn't know, I do DVD reviews, movie reviews, cartoon discussions, and more. And if all that stuff sounds great to you, then check out my channel, Puppet Review Stuff. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to today's video. Alrighty, they're back. They're back for revenge. Those little demons. Get that damn thing off my screen. Yeah. They're back with a vengeance. I swear. There better not be a minion on my screen again. Huh. Okay. There better not be one that still. Ugh. Oh, great, great, we're doing that kind of comedy, huh? Where I'm not gonna fall for it. I'm not gonna default for that comment, that cheap comedy. No, 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 even if it's there, I, I, it's just gonna, it's gonna fly away from me again. <laughs> Stop showing it! I know I'm not, I'm, I'm, I know I'm not hallucinating. We, we, we don't, we, we don't talk about minions on the show, okay? <laughs> ah, ah, ah! There it is, editor. Stop this bullcrap now! Ugh, goodness me, Good, goodness me. Okay, <sighs> Illumination is back at it again. Well, their, fa their last film was The Grinch, which, in my opinion, I thought was okay. And sadly enough, besides the minions, I don't mind Illumination Studios. I love the first min this first Despicable Me movie. I like The Grinch, and. Sing. I, I actually kind of enjoyed Sing a little bit. So, I, I'm, not, I'm a little biased to Elimination. But The Secret Life of Pets... I don't know about these guys. Um, so, I guess it's time to go back into the world of The Secret Life of Pets. Screw that movie. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get things started. First Welcome step to of not being afraid. No, 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 no! This is it! Is acting like you're not afraid. Where are you going? So, are you scared? No. Are you scared? No! No, I'm not! Now you're talking. <laughs> Buckle up, everyone! <laughs> You 
to join me? exactly what the plot of this movie is? Well, dude, uh, the plot of this movie is, um, actually, it's not really a plot. It's actually three plots. You're kidding, right? It, that, that's the same bullcrap we did with this pickle me three. Huh. Well, yeah, there's three main plots. There's one with Max and the baby and him trying to become braver. There's one with Tiffany Haddish and Kevin Hart, Snowball and Daisy, as they try to save a baby lion. And then there, or tiger, whatever. Yeah, don't get your animals mixed up. Derek. All right, come on, d d don't be mad at me. Anyhow, and um, the last storyline is Gidget trying to become a cat. Are you, that's it? That that's all the storylines? That that's it? How is that a movie? Um, it's Secret Life of Pets. I guess you can market it any way you want to. Oh God, they they every movie they do, they get lazier and lazier with plot, don't they? Unless it's made for them, the Grinch. Which already has a plot. Yeah, that, that actually does seem lazy. Because it's the exact same thing they did with the Spigot Money 3. I feel like they were just running out of ideas at this point. Thank you, Derek. I'll take it over here. Um, thanks for running me on the show. I'm not being lazy. Uh, yes, people. Yes. They're back. Again. The studio that has come from hell. He's back. And he's brought his devil little animals with him. And you know, I feel I don't even feel like I want to say it, but I have to. The studio, Ulu. Stop! No, 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 no! Don't do that. Just let me say it. We don't have to let the minion say it. No. Okay. The studio, Ulu. I swear, you better not show another damn minion. Saying the words illumination again. Oh, I will fire you and I are Farkle to kill you. Understand? And I'll make it seem like a goddamn accident. <laughs> this is not enjoyable for me to review this film or anything illumination related. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> okay. Editor, I'm gonna kill you. Go, go, no, you can't get the editor to the camera. Get the camera off. Screw you, editor. Oh, it calm down. <laughs> dude, dude, you gotta calm down. Calm down. I'm, 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 I'm okay, dude. I'm okay, Gary. It's, it's just the editor being a douchebag. Oh, I know. The editor likes to have fun sometimes. Yo, know, he's probably sorry. <laughs> sometimes, not even sorry at all. I'm not even sorry. I just, I just have the urge to kill somebody right now. Derek, you, you might be the closest one. No, oh, come on, dude. Just, just, just hold, just, you know, calm down, calm down. How, how would I be calm? He, he just kept tormenting me. Ugh, why can't you just fire the, the editor? You don't realize we gotta do that. Why not? Because he's the puppet master. We can't really do anything to affect the puppet master. Ugh, screw that. I hate the puppet master. I hate everything he's doing. Ugh, God. One day I would like to meet this puppet master and just get to give him beat his ass or, or something. Oh, ha, ha, I'm definitely gonna try. Ha, 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 screw you, puppet master. No, oh, I think maybe you guys need to talk it out. Talk it out. I don't think there's anything we should talk about, Derek. This guy is just a douchebag, and our lives would be better without you, editor. I could find someone to edit, you know, well, we are puppets, we're puppets, I guess, I mean, we, sure, none of us have the actual physical hands or anything, or anything to type or move a mouse with, we could try, it would take maybe about three weeks for one video to get out, <laughs> depending on the length, maybe we possibly get a 30 second video out within like a week, ugh, oh, you would like that, wouldn't you, to get back to the video, Puppet, just get back to the video. Stop messing with the editor. Uh, we are not done with this. Uh, anyhow, guys, um, that was the editor and Kid Puppet Master. 
One day, one day, I will meet him. And I will kill him. Besides that, we're going to Illumination. We're talking about Illumination. No tricks, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Anyhow, they're back. Tormenting us like the editor, Puppet Master, is doing right now to me. <sighs> I do not like minions. I don't. I like the first Despicable Me. I could stand them in that. But then minions came out. Made me hate them. No more minions, please. No more elimination. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just... No more. Uh, let's just... Let's just... Talk now, about yes, this movie has three plots. Three different adventures. Remember that? Yeah, that's from Spoon Me 3. These guys are running out of ideas, I feel like. Uh, as a studio, they're lazy. Very lazy. They can't think of anything so creative that they have to put three plot lines in one frickin' movie. Ugh, man. Like, what has this studio become? I... Honestly, the movie feels like a TV show. Honestly, at this point. I don't know. This, like... Uh, this movie... I gotta say, it's enjoyable. It's actually watchable. I laughed actually quite a bit in this film. And yes, there was quite, quite a bit of poop jokes. But honestly, two of the poop jokes were actually pretty funny. I actually enjoyed this film. But despite what I'm acting like, I actually enjoyed watching it. Um, I didn't regret seeing it early, you know, at all. It's just, it's watchable, it's passable. Um, let's talk about the storyline one, because we have to go over every single goddamn storyline, Max. Apparently, his owner gets married and has a kid. And Max falls in love with that kid and is overprotective and hence, and he gets all stressed out. Hence why he has a cone in the film. Yes. And they go to a farm where they meet Harris Ford who does not want to be there at all in the movie. Not one bit. He just says his line straight away like he's depressed and wants to die. But I love that. Harrison Ford, I don't, I, yeah, Rooster played, Harrison Ford plays Rooster. I'm surprised I actually remember all the names. Well, I guess because they're really, really simple to remember. Yeah, he plays this character named Rooster, and he's not a little rooster, and they have a pretty funny joke about that. But yeah, Harrison Ford is the best character in this movie. He's funny, he, he has such good comedic timing, and he's just- yes, he, I couldn't see him because of the cone. Then get rid of the cone. Man, I would. I would, but my therapist says I need it. It's a medical device. These doctors. Ah! Yeah. You're cured. Hallelujah. He's so, like, a downer, and I don't know how to describe it. He's just funny. Um, he's just, like, so serious all the time, and just, like, just straightforward. I, I just love this character. It's, 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 it's. It does bring the movie up a little bit for me personally, because I do like that character. And then Max, of course, tries to be brave, like I just said, and blah blah blah. And Doug, or I think I think that's what his name is, Duke, or I, I don't even know, but the big hairy dog that no one likes. Yeah, they listen to his role in the movie. He's partly in this film at all. He he hardly noticeable, which I do like, because I did not like him in the first film at all. I thought he was just a pointless character, just a buzz ripoff at this point. And Max is Woody. All right, so we're gonna move on to storyline number two. Yes, we're gonna move on to Gidget. Gidget is now trying to learn how to be a cat. It's really stupid why she's doing it, but it's it. I mean, as there's a little bit of comedic in there, comedy in there, even though it does the job. Another poop joke. Yay, just yay. So yeah, Gidget. Gidget's an interesting character. I don't mind Gidget at all. I actually kind of like her. She, in a weird way, she reminds me of Muriel. And not in a good way. Actually, she reminds me of a better version of Muriel, actually. A Muriel that I wish would be Muriel. But, sadly, I have crazy sexy girl instead. Ugh, sigh. Anyhow, yes, she tries to be a cat. I'm not really going to go into spoilers on... What, why she's becoming a cat. It's really funny. It's really, not really funny. It's really stupid. Anyhow, the next storyline, um, honestly, they got, this is my favorite storyline. It's with, oh boy, the night school gang are back. Tiffany Haddish and Kevin Hart are teaming back up to play Snowball and Daisy as they go on an adventure to save a baby tiger from a madman at the circus. 
And yes, there is a villain of this film. A villain. A human villain. And he is... <laughs> I don't know how to think about this villain. He's ridiculous. He's really stupid. He's got no point. He's like the worst kind of villain ever. And yeah, and he has like wolves and a crazy monkey, which I do love the monkey. I love that. That that was really funny. And the wolves and Snowball trying to be... I love Snowball from the first film. That was like my favorite thing about the film. They, he was like a deranged crazy person. This one, he's more down to earth, which I do not like. He's, sure, he's still crazy, but he's not as crazy as the first one and just funny. He was funny in the first one. He wasn't as funny as this one. I would thought Kevin Hart would bring it, but maybe because it's not rated R, he would he didn't bring it as well. Tiffany Haddish, and eh, um, she's she's okay. I guess because she has a script and she's not just rambling on every time. I guess when Tiffany Haddish has a script, she's fine. She she did some pretty good voice acting. I I would admit I didn't mind it. I didn't, honestly I forgot it was Tiffany Haddish as well. I mean. She did a pretty good job. I honestly, I'm, I can't even say anything bad about her. She did a pretty good job. I think they did a pretty good job as as the characters. Even though I would like more of a crazy snowball, but I, that was fine. That was that was fine. That was fine. Anyways, yeah. Um. So yeah, that's basically they all in the ends come together into one plot, which is of course that would happen. And yeah. Uh, what else do I have to say? There is a climax. To the secret life of pets. Yes. Indeed, people. There is a god dang climax. On a train. In a car. But what is with all these animal films doing this? Why is every animal loving animal film have to have such big climax with a car? Or a train? Or moving vehicle? Every single animal film. Finding Dory. Oh boy, the first secret life of pets. Everything has to have Toy Story, even though that's not animals. Everything has to have some kind of weird climax with a moving vehicle. It annoys me. I don't know why. Can't we just have a climax without moving vehicles? And just the most stupidest villain ever. And they make him seem so evil. And yes, he does some real like he does something at the very end of the film that I was so happy that he was about to do. He was about to do something that if they had done it, I would applaud the movie straight away when they did that. But no, we have to sit through another torture. They're probably going to make a third film. Because that villain was just pathetic. If he had done his deed, we wouldn't have to suffer through another secret life of pets. And I wouldn't suffer through another secret life of pets. Uh, so, would I recommend seeing this film? Um, um, would I recommend it? I guess so. In a weird way, this is not a terrible film. It's not as bad as I've expected. The advertising didn't help at all, because honestly, I it like they did this weird character trailer thing, and they released like two trailers, and I wasn't really interested at all. I was never really interested in Secret Life of Pets 2 anyways, and they just, ugh, I don't know. Like, I understand why they advertised it the way they did, because there's not really even a story to be done in this film. Uh, but yeah. The animation, I mean, I always enjoyed Illumination's animation. I know people say it's on the cheap side, but honestly, in my opinion, I like the animation style. I think it's, it's unique, okay? Like, it look, it's not as cheap as Ugly Dolls. So let's, let's be honest here. The, the, the animation is not terrible. It's really on a low budget, but the animation quality is fine. It's it's fine. You can see the fur. They do details. Come on. It, it's, a, it's a type of style that they do. And people just need to respect that. Oh, uh, what would I rate this film? I would rate it a... Huh. A 7 out of 10. Honestly, if you take your kids to see this, you won't be, like, you know, annoyed or just tortured through, like, ugly dolls. Ugh, screw that movie. You, you won't be tortured. You'll actually enjoy it. There's actually some pretty good jokes in it. Still, it's a safe film, but it's not, ter it's not a terribly safe film. I mean, Kevin Hart. You got Kevin Hart in the film. Great. Love that guy. Anyhow, that's really it for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want some more stuffy goodness, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everybody.